structure. There's a sword, a diamond axe, some food, ingots, all kinds of stuff, guys. I mean, the loot is definitely worth it in this mod. Not to worry, guys. I found another graveyard over here. So we're going to check out, like, a different chest. But this time, I'm not going to, like, dig that all by myself. And look at all the skeletons. They look so funny. They died happy. Well, maybe not really. They look pretty weird. So somewhere down here, we should be able to find some wood. I will lead us to the chest, guys, and we'll check it out. So this time, guys, you're going to notice it's actually trapped. There's TNT right over it, so don't step on that pressure plate. And it's actually really close to the surface. So if you're thinking you should just kind of just go down on top of the wood, something horrible might happen. So don't let that happen to you. Okay, so in this one, guys, we're going to grab a key. I think this one might be the... Oh, that was an easy one. This is the wooden chest right here. So this time, it's not even locked. On occasion, you'll find these ones unlocked. Sometimes they'll be locked. So this is the worst one. And here's some stone tools and stuff like that. An iron key and, you know, not really too much at all, to be honest. Right in front of us, guys, I have found another structure. And this has got to be one of the rarest ones. Because I searched the whole world, like the entire world, looking for stuff. And this is the only one I ever found. So really, it looks kind of simple. It's like a hole with water in it and a chest at the bottom. I hope it's not trapped. It's going to be really funny if it is. So we're just going to dive down here and hopefully not die and blow up my stuff. I'd be so sad. So this looks like the pirate one. I'm just going to dig this out. Oh, this looks so good. Come on, epic treasures. Open. You broke my key. Oh my god, is this not it? Is this not that one? Is this a skull one? I think we're not in the front. Oh my god, guys. This is actually the skeleton one. This is the best chest in the mod. Let's check it out. Oh my god, look at this. There's a diamond chest plate, golden apples, enchantment table, diamonds, TNT, and some stuff from the actual mod. Ambrosia filled golden chalice. We'll check this out after. And the skull sword. This is better than a diamond sword. Like seriously, guys. Like going through stuff like this in your world is going to make it so much more exciting. And if you want, you can actually grab these chests too. And one thing you can do is lock them. So I can lock this again. Like keep people out of my chest. All I have to do is right click it. So really cool looking. Makes like a normal chest look terrible. Another really cool thing you can find is a chest that generates right on land. Just sitting there for you to grab. Like that is so epic. So this one right here, I think it's just a wooden chest. Yeah, this one, it was a locked wooden chest. So pretty much the same stuff as before. If it's like your first couple days of Minecraft, it's going to be epic. And if it's not, it's not going to be that good. But it's so cool to see like a chest just sitting there. It's like waiting for you to grab it. You know what, guys? I searched everywhere trying to find the iron bound chest. It doesn't exist. I can't find it. I found like a million chests, but not that one. So in front of us, another pirate chest. These ones are so cool. And yeah, let's check this out. There's an emerald, there's diamond boots, diamonds, all kinds of cool stuff. Like, this is so sick to find this. There's a saddle, even like TNT. So as you can see, guys, a bunch of epic stuff. The Ironbound one, though, I guess it's not generating at the moment. All right, guys, so I finally found the best structure. This right here is a wishing well. I know it looks simple, it looks kind of plain, but it's freaking amazing. It's not like the Lucky Block one that kills you half the time. It's always awesome. Even, like, the sheep are, like, standing around it and, like, praising its beautiful wishing powers so check this out guys there's two different things you could use on this you can use a silver coin and a gold coin no crafting recipe at the moment only way to find them in these chests so what we're gonna do is just like right click it let's go for it and i got an iron sword with smite too that's pretty good actually that's not too bad too bad you can't like craft these out of like iron or something don't think that would really work for silver though let's just go for it let's spam it and what do we get here i got something pretty cool I got mine carts with TNT. This is something I almost never have in Minecraft. They got all like enchanted iron gear. But I'm thinking the gold stuff, it's going to be amazing. So let's go for this. So I wish for an enchanted golden apple. And I got a gas here. I feel a little bit screwed, but it's all right. It's okay. Let's see what we can get here. Potion. Potion of strength. Not too bad. Eight minutes. Let's go for it again. Let's spam it. So the gold one seems to be better. Oh my god. I got the sword, guys. I got the skull sword again. That is so cool. I got some pirate keys. So as you can tell, if you find one of these, make sure you set like a waypoint depending on what mods you have. Because you're going to want to come back here and wish like tons of times. So next up, guys, we are by the water. And you're probably wondering, what are we doing in the middle of the ocean? It doesn't make sense. Well, actually, there's pirate ships that sunk. You can kind of see it like right over there. This is the rarest structure in the mod. I'm pretty sure about that. I actually messed with the config to actually get these things to spawn because I couldn't find any. So we're going to check out the chest. This is how everything actually looks, guys. As you can see, like, wooden one. It's not locked. Locked version. This is the one I could not find. Stop breaking my keys. I don't like it. Let me in. This one is so mean. The ironbound chest. So this one right here, pirate's chest. And finally, the dread pirate's chest. The one with the skull is so cool looking. I'd definitely grab this and, like, keep it for storage. 
So these do not have any recipes, guys. Only way to possibly get them is to get them from the structures. And there are some cool items in this mod, too. Like, you saw the sword a couple times. We can test it out. It doesn't do anything special, but it's better than diamond. Let's check out how it looks. We've got the skull sword. Oh, yeah. You see the blood on that, guys? That's from all the monsters that I slayed with this. Or cows. You know. Whatever. So we'll take the dude out right there. Very powerful. We've got a couple other things. You know, some coins and stuff. I showed you guys how those work. And chalices. So these are pretty cool. You can get, like, a normal one. You can actually fill this up with, like, water or lava. Weirdly enough, it works exactly like a bucket. You wouldn't think it would. It's kind of weird. So let's grab these. So if you fill it up with water, it actually puts water down. And if you fill it up with lava, it puts lava down. Like, that is so strange. You wouldn't think it would actually, you know, do that. But it's like a really expensive bucket. That's how I think of it. And now we're on to the final chalice. This one, it's so much better. The other thing, it's like a million dollar bucket. Why would you get a chalice and fill it up with water and lava just to pour it out? It doesn't make sense. But this one, it's the Ambrosia Filled Chalice. It's pretty amazing. Check it out. If you drink it, you get Speed 3, Strength 3, Regeneration 3. And the funny thing is, like yesterday, I reviewed the top 5 food mods. This one's actually better than number 5, which is insane. But the thing is, getting this, not really that easy. You gotta find, like, something amazing in one of these chests. And next up, guys, we are checking out the pirate ship. And as you can see, it sunk horribly to the bottom of the ocean. They're not easy to find because of that. So what we're going to do is just jump right into this. It's actually not flooded. Well, a little bit. Tiny bit in here. What's up, skeleton? This is like his room. That looks horrible. Like, who would sleep there? That's bad, my friend. You got to find a better home. Let's go down here. So you can see a bunch of skeletons around because they kind of like own the ship. There's actually like a spawner right here. And look at this, guys. The best chest is always in this structure. So if you find one, you're going to be very happy, but you have a lot of skeletons to kill. I think it would be really cool if they added in, like, a boss or something, like, protecting it. That'd be amazing. But in here, guys, we've got, we got some gold coins. we got some chalices. Look at this. This is amazing. There's diamonds, enchantment table, TNT, the skull sword, iron block. So, yeah, so many different items you can get. You can tell in this mod you're going to get so many different things. And as you're traveling out into the world, there's going to be so much more to do. But honestly, guys, I love mods like this to add more to exploring and, of course, epic treasures. Like, who doesn't like epic treasures? Even the skeletons like it. They're, like, protecting the chest right now. How cool is that? But, yeah, guys, that is pretty much all the show for today. If you enjoyed it, drop a like on the video and subscribe. It's always appreciated. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video. It's so hard to find these treasures. It's got to be down here somewhere. Oh, oh no. Oh no, don't blow up my treasure. Don't blow up my treasure, please. Oh. What's up, guys? It's Pat, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today, we're checking out the treasures mod. And guys, what this mod does, it adds a bunch of treasures into your world. So as you're traveling around, you can find some awesome stuff. Like in front of us, this right here, guys, it's a graveyard. It looks weird. There's like a cool little skeleton dude. Look at that look on his face. It looks so strange. But yeah, if you dig underneath this, you're going to find some epic treasure. So this mod, really, it's about like adding more into your world as you travel around. And I got to be honest, I love mods like that. Like so much more for exploring. So what we're going to do is just jump right into this one. So first up, as you guys can see, there's a graveyard right in front of us. And what we're going to do is kind of just, like, loot all this stuff. Like, not only the treasure. I'm going to steal this, too. Just give me that. I want this stuff. It's pretty cool. You can actually take, like, the gravestones and stuff like that. So, I'm taking it. This is mine. This is mine. Everything for me. So, what you can do, if, like, a pet dies in your world, these are going to be perfect. 